hi friends in this video i am going to discuss about 10 mobile testing types well testing is one of the hottest topic in the software testing area rather than people are going to use by web or desktops now most of the people prefers to use mobile devices due to it mobile testing due to it mobile testing as a huge demand uh, in bringing the quality of uh, mobile apps where in this video i am going to discuss on 10 different types of testing types where which will be used in uh, mobile testing apps if you are visiting first time to the testing shala youtube uh, channel the testing shala youtube channel focuses on software testing that help you to learn software testing and enhance your uh, testing skills if you are not uh, already subscribed to do subscribe to this channel so that all the future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox so let's not wait then let's go and talk about what are those 10 different types of testing which you are going to perform on mobile app testing so let's move on I'm going to list one by one and also going to explain you what are these test types and what we are going to do during these testing types. The first one, first and foremost is installation testing. Let's say if you wanted to install a mobility app, let's say you wanted to install Flipkart app or if you wanted to install Amazon app, then you should go to Play Store. There is an uh, Android Store is there again. Uh, iOS Store is there, right? Apple Store, where you wanted to download that uh, app and you need to install, right? In that man matter, whatever the app which you are going to develop, finally that needs to upload into one of these apps. From there, apps will be get downloaded onto the individual mobiles this installation testing is very crucial let's say if installation get some of the issues during installation in their respective mobile devices the end user doesn't have any patience they'll just uh, forget to install that install that app and they may not going to use that app uh, on their lifetime because they felt this app is not installing properly the quality of the app is not good that means the credibility of that company the credibility of that company goes away in this way the installation testing gives a very high value where uh, being a tester you should install the application and test it on various factors test it on what kind of ram you are going to use what is the space is required what are the various configurations you can make during installation all those various types of testing you will be performing just to ensure that installation is very successful let's say after certain use of uh, the mobility app someone wants to uninstall right they don't want to continue with your app then even that kind of testing also you should perform that is uninstallation testing when uninstallation testing you are going to make you have to be very careful that during uninstallation you should be able to undeploy and remove all the files related to your app that is the testing which you are going to do as part of installation testing during installation te testing you'll have two types of testing one is installation another one is uninstallation and there are certain situations you may go for uh, upgrade testing as well let's say Flipkart uh, your mobile app you have fourth version and you wanted to upgrade to fifth version that scenarios also should be able to perform seamlessly without much issues so you should have all these combinations of testing uh, when you are doing upgrading let's say uh, you migrate from one uh, release 4 to release 10 or release 5 to release 10 uh, all these uh, parameters are auto upgrade uh, from any version to the latest version if you are going to perform that kind of upgrades then your application should not crash or 
you should not behave totally different way so hence these two types of installation so installation and upgrade testing is very crucial in mobility app testing so let's move on to the third type of testing which is functional testing the functional testing is nothing but where we are going to test the application in terms of functional perspective or features perspective what are the things we implemented whether those features are available or not as well as when we are operating after installation whether application behaves as specified in the functions or not we covering all positives we will be covering all negative boundary conditions uh, all these various testing techniques will be adopted in this functional testing just to ensure that every functional aspects of that mobility apps works really well that is a main motto of the functional testing so then we we'll, let's move on to the fourth type of testing which we are going to make here is usability testing so usability testing is very crucial especially because mobility devices which can range from any sizes it can have 4 inch it can have 3 inch or it can have 14 inch uh, say let's say talk about tabs it is having a bigger uh, screen size right irrespective of all these screen size your usability is really matters to the uh, end user which is of ease of use when i should be able to operate very easily with a single finger that is a biggest uh, factor on the mobility area where our ui should be seamlessly should be able to work and it should be user friendly it should uh, give good experience to the uh, end user so this is all about usability where you all talk about all the component all the ui components just to ensure that everything looks pretty and it should be able to operate all the ui elements in a single Uh, finger and if something is not working we will be going to log issues uh, on the usability issues so these are all about all four types of testing then let's move on to the fifth type of testing is mobile compatibility testing this is very important uh, testing uh, when we are operating on the mobile devices because mobile devices uh, comes with various operating systems think about android we have various types of uh, operating systems are there and if you talk about ios again their releases keep releasing various uh, ios operating systems and their updates and windows also they have different versions of operating systems and again their updates right in the same way in the mobile devices you will be using uh, different kinds of uh, different kinds of browsers such as chrome browsers or it could be safari or it could be firefox then you have different combinations of screen sizes you have uh, data storage types right there are various combinations uh, of uh, things are available in the given uh, mobile devices so our testing should ensure we should be able app should be able to compatibility with any of these combinations uh, even sometime we should look for uh, the app which is developed in the latest version should be able to uh, work in the lowest operating system uh, which is a backward compatibility in the same way we should be able to work uh, towards forward uh, compatibility this is a very important uh, testing which normally we do once the functional testing and usability testing is done just to ensure that application mobile app, mobile application works very seamlessly without having any issues i hope you understood till now all the five different types of testing types in mobile apps then let's move on to the sixth type which is network bandwidth testing so network bandwidth testing means these days the network it can be 2g it could be 3g or it could be 4g or even uh, whatever it is going to come in the future is 5g or even our uh, wan network lan network wifi 
your mobility app should work seamlessly with any of these network bandwidth and you should test your app by using all the various network combinations just to ensure that your app doesn't crash or your app doesn't behave uh, totally different when we are testing in these different combinations of network bandwidth so maybe you should go to the uh, top of the hill or you should go to the uh, uh, railway tunnel or you should go inside of the building uh, just to ensure that uh, your mobility app should work seamlessly even if it is not going to work and you should work more gracefully and you should throw appropriate error messages when we are testing the with the different network conditions seventh thing which you are going to talk about here is where we need to perform security testing security testing this this is very crucial and this is very important for the end users because uh, the end user are clients who deploy these apps to their mobiles and that mobile is having various personal information the mobility app hackers should not access the personal information in their devices so just to guarantee all those confidential information which they are available in their mobile devices and you should be able to test various way of uh, doing security testing just to ensure that it should not compromise on the client data and uh, you should have all the security measures been taken care for that app i hope you understood network bandwidth and security testing let's move on to the eighth type of testing which we do in uh, mobile apps is localization testing so localization testing let's say amazon or flipkart the amazon and flipkart are uh, not just meant for one country these apps can be accessed across countries let's say it can um, uh, access in european countries or it can access in uh, india or it can access in us or it can access in china or japan as and when they access the application in their respective countries the language and the culture is totally different and your app should be able to display the local language not the just in english or plain language so you should ensure that your ui or your functionality should remain seamlessly working irrespective where or which location or which country you are going to access this application so these are the some of the testing we do in the mobile mobile testing just to ensure that this works seamlessly so then let's move on to the ninth type of testing which we do here is battery testing so battery testing is also one of the important testing which we normally use it in mobile uh, testing because we are going to test here how much the battery it is going to consume by the app when i am going to use that app or whether uh, your mobility app is going to consume too much battery or uh, let's say how uh, your app is going to behave when uh, the battery is very low or how the application is going to work when uh, battery is going to about to die right there are various conditions we'll have to test just to ensure that it doesn't consumes too much battery and uh, it should uh, doesn't behave totally different on various these conditions and this is all about battery testing then the last uh, type of testing here is memory consumption here we are going to validate by accessing all the features of this mobility app and we will also be validating in parallel apart from functional we will also validating on the memory consumption perspective how much uh, memory is being consumed by this app as and when we access the application and we will be keep watching and whichever the area if it consumes more memory then we will be logging a defect for that that would give us an indication to the client 
some some fixes should be there and it is too much uh, memory is consuming because there could be some leakage may be there in the memory all these validations we need to make just to ensure that mobile behaves in a right manner uh, when you are utilizing this application i have covered the 10 mobile testing types till now i hope uh, you understood the overall uh, concept of mobile testing and various types of mobile testing uh, activity which we perform on the mobile apps